Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the uh, inaugural session of the skill development program for students titled Layer Prefer Manufacturing, organized by the AICT HIT Idea Lab. Okay, which is a, a venture uh, which uh, AICT was, uh, as you, you guys know, uh, HIT was one of the a few engineering institutes which uh, had this uh, opportunity to host an idea lab where different kinds of uh, sophisticated technologies are there and the purpose of this program is to kind of bridge the uh, gap between the hands-on and the theoretical knowledge you are getting in the classroom lecture okay so we it's a five day program we hope you get the benefit and you reap the uh, benefit based of the rest of it so we will inaugurate the program uh, with uh, first of all uh, with with the uh, national anthem <laughs> technical session so we have uh, dignitaries who are present in the dais uh, professor Tarun Kandijana dean uh, school of engineering uh, professor uh, Gautam Kumar Bosch uh, HOD mechanical engineering and coordinator of HIT ICT idea lab and professor Devdot Ghosh uh, co coordinator of AICT HIT idea lab so uh, before we go into the actual technical session <clears throat> i would like to invite uh, our dignitaries to have uh, to say something about the program, so first of all, I'd like to in invite Professor Jana uh, to, to uh, ask. Good morning and Happy New Year to all of you. Achha, uh, are you from third year? Third year. Yes, sir. Are from third year. Yes, sir. And discipline wise, what is your composition? Just but from which department all you are? All of our mechanical. Oh. So, uh, respected Professor Bose. Professor Devdutta Ghosh, other faculty members, staff and my participants. So this is the, I believe the first program in this particular new year and this AICT idea lab, we have perhaps heard about it to some extent, but you are not yet been that much exposed. So from, it was established perhaps in April 2022 and since then quite a good number of programs for the faculty, for the staffs, for the students were organized and GB said Professor Ghosh uh, they are instrumental in developing this particular laboratory which is built with the financial assistance from the AICT and HIT in this joint venture. As far as this scope and activities of this particular AICT idea lab is concerned the very name suggests that it is a lab basically but this laboratory is not conventional the way you pursue or your experiment in your syllabus here the theme is that you are supposed to generate some idea with a creative mind and with the available facilities and the resources you can be able to quickly develop the prototype of course which has got some functional requirements. At the beginning, Sirup Sir was talking about that to bridge the gap between the theory and practice. That is the main motto or main objective of developing this sort of lab. 
quite often it happens that we conceive some idea, we create the design, but when we materialize the idea, there is a gap. It takes longer time and a uh, very uh, substantial amount of lacuna or deficiency exists. So whenever you will materialize the, your idea, you give shape to your idea, you will be able to confront the, uh, to uh, overcome the different difficulties that will arise in the different phases of your development process. So it is a very potential platform where you can conceive your idea and within a short span of time, maybe within 10-15 days, you can realize the physical model of course with the functional attributes. So this one week program, I believe it is be extremely useful for you people. The resources which are catered in this particular laboratory, mostly electronics and mechanical equipment or to be very precise and accurate, it is basically mechatronics system where mechanical systems are intertwined with the electronic system. And as far as this topic layer of freeform manufacturing is concerned, since you belong to mechanical discipline, so I believe in your third year or your fourth year, one such subject is there under the, maybe under the title of rapid prototyping and 3D printing something like that. This is a very emerging area and as compared to other techniques of manufacturing, it is a little bit different. Very quickly we can generate shape without any cutting action and without any wastage of material. So that is why uh, and uh, you know that uh, currently industry is undergoing industry 4.0 and in that particular uh, segment as far as the vision of industry 4.0 is concerned, rapid product development is one of the key criteria. So this rapid prototyping or 3D printing which are one of the key features of our lab, idea laboratory that you will be able to visualize and you will use those machinery to develop some products that you conceive or that you imagine. So two different aspects are extremely important for which you can nourish with these existing facilities. One is innovative thinking that is the idea and how quickly and how best and how economically and of course in less possible time you can give the shape to that your idea in the reality okay so that is how you will be able to reduce the gap between the theory and practice so in comparison to your traditional laboratory in addition to your traditional classroom teaching this lab is a little bit different and I believe that by virtue of this particular program spanning over one week, you will enjoy a lot and you will have a complete a different experience. Okay. So I wish all success and happy new year once again. Thank you. Thank you sir uh, for your inviting lecture. Uh, now I like to invite uh, Professor Gautam Bose to say a few words. Good morning. <coughs> Happy New Year to all of you. <coughs> Respected Professor Turun Kanti Jana, <coughs> Professor Devdatta Ghosh, Dr. Supriyo Roy, Dr. Shirub Banerjee, uh, Professor Dibendu Choudhury, Mohan and all the dear participants, students of my department. So uh, you know this idea lab for quite some time we are doing a lot of activities, uh, student centric, faculty development programs, industry oriented programs. So this is a new year so we are starting again afresh with our activities. So we have started with the skilling program for the students. Now uh, we believe that uh, skilling program uh, is required for development, the, the development of the skill set of the students. See, apart from regular studies, uh, development of one skill set is highly important with respect to placements. Okay, so ultimate, uh, we have a goal of getting a job, ultimately, right? How much you study, whatever you study, ultimately the focus will be getting a job. So to get a job, the primary requirement the company needs is, what is your skill set? What is the practical knowledge you have? 
they will not necessarily uh, give you problems to solve in that 15 to 20 minutes of interview okay so they so, so will judge you based on your skill set based on the practical experiences you have so uh, what i believe that the more and more you indulge yourself in the laboratories with uh, this uh, new laboratories like idea labs and all so your skill set will be developed will be more exposed your experience will be better so i'll expect that uh, we'll start with a few bunch of students see uh, when whenever there is a crowd there will be distractions so if you are working in a small group so it will be more focused more uh, the faculties can give you more importance individually you can uh, get his attraction and you can develop your own knowledge so uh, we will be taking you people in the idea lab to have an hands on experience we'll first uh, we'll be giving you some lectures based on the theory aspects certain information that you require to act and function in the lab and uh, in the lab we'll be given some task you'll be exposed to the machines you'll be handling the machines <coughs> yourself so that you can be uh, some uh, developers of this 3d printing basically this 3d printing is a is not a new technology right now it's a pretty old technology okay so for us it's a new in india it has come very very late but it is quite old in uh, western countries now we are in a stage of making prototypes with 3d printing but uh, in abroad they are making uh, buildings okay civil engineering are using 3d printed buildings okay and uh, for the mechanical guys they are making uh, metallic printings okay so directly components are being made with 3d printing and they are being applied in the machines okay in um, biotechnology they are making 3d printed tissues which can be directly implanted right so prosthetics are being made okay so knee replacement you make a 3d scan of the knee of the human and you can make the knee uh, with uh, titanium composite and you can apply it on the human directly so so this kind of work is being made so uh, it's a very emerging area nowadays and uh, people have gone very far so if you have to develop yourself you need to learn it right from the beginning because uh, the era uh, now is industry 4.0 so basically is a conglomerate of mechanical electrical electronics computers and it so if a mechanical guy is very conservative like i don't want to go and venture out into other departments so you will be backed out as simple as that now in this era when you will be passing out you have to be exposed to computers it iot okay artificial intelligence everything so artificial intelligence has taken the has taken a very big leap okay so you have softwares which can develop facial recognitions the softwares like where you give a word and it, it will write you a paragraph on that topic okay so it is doing a miracle right just take the help of ai again you can do anything you want right so human efforts are being very fast getting faded out so no humans will be required for regular work mundane work repetitive work humans will be only required for imagination and creativity okay so that's the where the the world is facing right now or moving towards right now so okay you will be knowing this uh, if you google it lots of things will be there you can find it out but for now now time being uh, we will be conducting exposures of workshops where we believe that you will be actively participating in it okay you will be developing and enriching yourself so today the first workshop we are doing is on skilling yourself on 3d printing this is a new terminology basically these are all synonyms of 3d printing that i found out right because every time we give 3d printing 3d printing so people say what is the new in it so this is a new term thing is different okay thing is same okay this 3d printing terminology is layered preform manufacture nothing new now uh, next thing what we will be doing is internships okay in this idea lab two months of internships will be there are you interested yes, yes, yes. okay so all the 10 uh, 11 guys who are present over here 
I take you as a participant of that internship also. Uh, I have spoken with Professor Devdutt Ghos. He has also agreed to it. So it will be two months of internships. We'll be giving you certificates, and it will be valid for your M A R and uh, all those academic requirements. Okay, it will be valid certificate. We'll be doing it over here. Okay, every day you'll be taking some classes. We'll taking it to the lab. So it will be complete in-house internships. Okay, this eleven guys and some nine guys from E I will be joining you. So total twenty guys will be having a complete internships for two weeks. So it will be a valid degree internships. Okay, and you will carry points. Okay, and there will be logo of E I C T Idea Lab. So academics uh, will be taken care of with the uh, internships. Okay. So uh, we'll be doing this workshop for the next couple of days, right? So morning session we'll be having some lectures based on some theories which will be given for to you for understanding. After that we'll be directly taking you to the lab for more practical exposure will be given rather than the theoretical. Because the more and more you handle the three D machines, uh, know the programming, it will be better for you. Okay. So one thing that is required for this three D printing is the knowledge of CAD. I hope all of you know how to draw in CAD domain. Okay, if you know uh, SolidWorks or ProE or Scatia, it will be enough. Okay, so rest is very simple. Operating on the machine is very simple. Only is the skill set known for drawing and development. Okay, designing part in SolidWorks. If anybody knows SolidWorks, it is fantastic for him. He is having one step ahead. Right. So uh, I'll stop over here. So uh, morning session today, I'll be taking a class, a lecture session, or a discussion. introduction to 3d printing tomorrow professor tumun ganti jana will be taking you some aspects of uh, cnc machining because all these machines are cnc operated okay the computer controlled numerically controlled machines so basic information regarding cnc is mandatory over here so professor jana will be taking tomorrow and on monday based on the electronics and embedded system professor devdutt ghosh will be taking a class okay so this is regarding the theory part the practical part will be taken care of in the lab okay thank you very much Thank you sir for this very informative deliberation. Uh now I like to invite uh, our third dignitary uh, Professor Devdutt Ghosh uh, to say a few words. Good morning. So uh in 2023 this is the first program we are starting with. and uh, the background is already discussed over here so i'll talk about the idea laboratory which we have established in our campus uh, as dr jana and professor professor bors uh, has mentioned that we have started our journey in the uh, month of april 2022 so by this month we have uh, we could incorporate uh, you know many uh, sophisticated machines in the laboratory if you will have the real experience there we have cnc wood cutter router we have co2 laser cutter we have 3d printer which is the heart of this laboratory uh, uh, main one of the main equipment of this laboratory we have 3d scanners with uh, high end computing facility right and we have embedded system laboratory where we have incorporated uh, most of the test measuring instruments and specifically we are given emphasis on internet of things right so the objective of the idea laboratory has to be understood properly when seriously this idea lab the concept of idea lab came in the period of covid 19 when i aict has started taking this initiative to establish idea laboratory all over the country then when seriously covid came and students uh, were you know attending classes online the portion which which was neglected is the laboratory your engineer you, you if you only attend the theoretical class if you get the theoretical knowledge, knowledge it is probably uh, it is not good enough because you have to have hands on experience and in today's world how much marks you have got in the examination is not that much important important is how much skill you have acquired during these four years this is one of the attempt which is beyond the syllabus directly you will not find any correlation with the syllabus but yes if you want to sustain in the modern days industry specifically if you want to make yourself compatible with industry 4.0 which is slowly coming up right 
then this 21st century skills has to be acquired right and there is no bound why i'm saying so because this laboratory is not only made made for the mechanical or electronics or instrumentation guys this is open for all the engineers because in this today's world how much interdisciplinary knowledge you have acquired that really matters right so by being a mechanical engineer you should not restrict yourself only into mechanical area you should also explore yourself towards uh, information technology computer science several sense sensing techniques control algorithm which are you know implicitly or explicitly used in various systems that you have to understand and you have to acquire the skill in such a way that so that you know you can implement okay while doing this and probably you know and you realize definitely uh, in your day to day life even in the industrial life most of the products which we use they are not made in india right so attempts should be made in a proper way when we should have our indigenous product so this is one of the attempt from which we can start our journey in this laboratory what do you expect that you can acquire knowledge you can use that knowledge and you can go for a, a prototype you can think of a real time product right and where your employability or the professional life will be extended i'm talking trying to say it is not only restricted into the jobs only it may happen that you you will come up with your own startup means entrepreneurship right so it will not be a job seeker only even when you will be working in the corporate if you have the entrepreneurial skill you can add some values to the company so that is why all these things are uh, regularly discussed and the ideal laboratory came up where you can develop yourself in a direction to develop the product okay one fine morning or maybe after 10 years we will have some product which are really indigenous when we have studied engineering we have seen many indigenous product in the field of electronics i believe in the uh, field of heavy engineering also there were lots of contribution from in, from indian companies but uh, unfortunately in today's world specifically i talk about electronics because my background is electronics i cannot find a single item single equipment which is fully made in india fully made means i'm taking technical know how uh, into account also so we are lagging really we are basically user so from the user to the developer this journey is not a very easy journey so apart from our regular engineering studies we have to uh, engage ourselves into the laboratory where you learn by doing something right and that is the overall objective of ideal laboratory on monday i'll just uh, give you much more elaborate picture about the ideal laboratory vis a vis i talk about the embedded system and internet of things i think uh, uh, that would be really useful for you thank you very much and uh, best of luck for this journey because as uh, dr bosch mentioned we'll be starting the internships nowadays you know uh, in the engineering six months of internship is mandatory right so when we did our engineering we have realized that is yes internship is very very much important like medical professions right but uh, see if you implement the internship policy and if you try to get only the certificates right that is not good enough the major objective is to acquire the skills hands on experience okay and which will remain with you right so we thought this ideal laboratory from the ideal laboratory we can uh, the, help the students we can support the students towards the internships so it's a very small step because we have uh, almost you know 12 1200 number of students from that maybe we can uh, give internship to 20 to 40 students uh, in the winter uh, so what i suggest is use this internship period which will be 
uh, spending over two months you try to use it very very uh, uh, so critically okay be a be the active member of this laboratory be the permanent member of this laboratory because in this laboratory all the kinds of stakeholders will be engaged specifically present students faculty members alumni right when you will be working in the industry also you you can you know continue your you continue your connect with this laboratory so that's the basic objective so it's a basically a technical movement where you are participating so with this holistic approach prepare your mind and go for the journey thank you very much thank you uh, professor ghosh uh, so i guess you have uh, got a kind of uh, thorough idea about what the program is about and what is its potential so with this i like to thank uh, our uh, dignitaries for uh, their valuable time and we come to an end of the inaugural session so after a short break we will uh, join we will start the technical session where uh, professor gautam kumar ghosh will be deliberating on the uh, their free from manufacturing thank you